The Global Moonbots 2014 GLXP Challenge asks us why we should go back to the moon for good. This is a more probing question than just why go back to the moon. We're focused specifically on the moon, not space exploration in general, and for good specifically considers an enduring presence on the moon. Team Starlink has determined that a lasting presence on the moon offers many benefits to humankind based on these lunar development opportunities. resources from the moon's regolith, such as oxygen and hydrogen, to make rocket fuel that is 100% in situ on the moon. Also, the moon has one-sixth the gravity of the Earth, so we can have a cost-effective spaceport on the moon from which we could launch missions to service satellites that are stationed in LEO. Moon-based missions to service LEO satellites would require one-tenth the energy than if we launched from Earth. like Peter Diamandis of Planetary Resources has seen this great opportunity to get valuable resources, and they are planning to mine the first asteroid by 2015. This would make a long-term presence of the moon much more feasible. However, why is it advantageous to mine asteroids from the moon? Because it would take 10 times the energy to get a rocket out of LEO compared to launching off of the moon. Also, more asteroids are readily available via the moon than Earth. Vast amounts of resources in the moon's regolith, such as oxygen, helium-3, and more. The moon's Cerberus crater is filled with 1 billion gallons of water ice. If we could harvest this water, it would be used to power a moon outpost. Robotic mining is a good solution to harvest these resources. Many companies are furthering lunar exploration. The Guna Lunar X Prize is a global $30 million incentivized competition that aims to spur innovation to benefit humankind. Nearly 50 years ago, President Kennedy said we would go back to the moon to do certain things, not because they were easy, but because they were hard, and we're motivated to do so. Today, we are excited to accomplish hugely significant lunar development for the benefit of humankind, which could very well prove to be financially profitable as well. This financial incentive will help fuel iterations of lunar development, which demands that humankind should definitely go back to the moon for good.